In this video, I'm going to show you using OpenCart 2 Plus how to um, do a test order without actually charging a card or anything like that. Now, it, I'm, I'm telling you this way because uh, some of you may have a live website and you don't want to enable uh, like a, a free checkout. Like you don't want to have people be able to check out for free. You don't want to be able to uh, um, uh, cancel out the shipping and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to do this on a live system and how to just basically set up a product and then uh, the things that you need to do with shipping and also your um, payment plugin. So let me go through and show you that really quickly. So we're going to open up the menu and then we're going to go to catalog and products and we're going to add um, a new product here. And I'm just going to call this test. And I'm just going to fill in all the required fields. So this is also required I believe. And I always like to change this to like $9.99 or something like that. We're not going to subtra subtract stock. Uh, require shipping. Yes, we want to test the shipping, but we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to be charged for it. Uh, you can put test here if you have enabled SEO URLs in the settings. Uh, if not, I'm going to show you what you need to do to get the actual product number. So um, from here, I believe we're pretty much done with this. I'm going to, oh, I must have missed something. Oh, this one's already been taken, so we're not even going to worry about it. Okay, so now we have a test product, and it's right here. And if you, if I hover over it, you can see down in the bottom left corner, it shows the URL. Um, you can see this one says product on the very end. It says product ID. I can't move my cursor over there. It disappears. But on the uh, the very end, it says product ID equals 50. And so the product ID is 50. So that's the one we're going to use. Now let's go in and set up our payment option. So we're going to go to our plugins and our extensions. That's what they call it in OpenCart. Um, now with OpenCart, uh, I believe 2.2 or something like that uh, they move to where it lists it like this and you have to go through the filter uh, otherwise you might have another option here that says payments so just uh, choose that option now I'm just going to go in and enable free checkout and it's already enabled in this in this particular uh, sample cart um, and it basically puts it in at pending enabled and one now free checkout means um, it's only going to be enabled if the product itself is free. So you don't have to worry. It's not going to give everyone the option to check out for free. Only if the product that they're ordering is free is it going to give them the option to not have to pay. So uh, now we're going to go back into extensions. We're going to go into shipping. So I'm going to find shipping. And like I said, you you might have, if you have OpenCart 2.0 um, or one of those, then you'll have shipping over here. In these in this area right here, so now I'm going to go to uh, I'm I'm going to go to free shipping. Oops, I don't want to uninstall it. I'm going to edit, and you can see it's if the total is 0 0.000, then to do it. Now here's the deal. Um, we don't want to. So what this is going to do is anything above this amount is going to have the opportunity to have free shipping. Now this is a great feature because if you offer free shipping on orders over a hundred dollars or something something like that then uh, you can add you know you could change this to a hundred dollars and um, and it would kick in as soon as the order total reached a hundred dollars but um, we want it to be enabled for uh, this testing but we don't want everyone to be able to have free shipping so if somebody comes along right now while we're live while while our website is live and they go to order something that's twenty dollars we don't want to give them free shipping on it uh, and so what I'm going to do is I set up a geo zone and let me show you how to set up a geo zone so I set up this geo zone and the geo zone is called testing and it's only the free shipping is only available for that geo zone so let me show you how you do that so we're gonna go into um, systems and localization and then we go to geo zones and right here you can see is my testing one and so if you don't if you want to create a new one you just click plus here let's go ahead and create a new one here we'll call this new test 
and we'll just call this testing and we're gonna add a geo zone so what we what I did in the last one is I chose a country that I probably wouldn't get an order from in in the next um, you know 20 minutes to an hour whatever I was you know doing so off the screen here is is Zimbabwe so I chose Zimbabwe because it was the it was you know you could scroll right to it it's just at the bottom of the list uh, it's a country I'm probably not gonna get an order from maybe ever um, but definitely not in the next hour and then I just chose the first um, a state or whatever Zimbabwe has. I don't know if they're considered states or regions or whatever they are. So um, I just chose this because it was the, the at the bottom of the list. It's easy to just scroll right to it. And then this one was the top. And so then I just save it. And so then what I did is now we go back over, open this back up again if it'll do it. It doesn't want to do it for me. Something's going, oh, there it goes. It's just run a little slow. Uh, we're going to go back to extensions and extensions again and shipping and now let's go to free shipping again and what we're going to do is we'll enable it for the new uh, new test right here so that way it's only going to give free shipping to me if I choose that my country is Zimbabwe so now as I go to check out and I'll go here in the in this sample cart here and I'll show you how to pull up the product now. So um, if you don't have um, if you don't have the uh, the SEO URLs enabled, and you still want to be able to test the product, uh, then what you can do is you can you can click on a product, and up in the URL, let me move this down a little bit here for you. So now you can see this URL that I just I just went to any product, and you can see the URL. Um, has on the very end of it product ID equals 43. Well, we know our product ID for the test is 50, so I just changed that, and here's our free product. So I'm going to add this to the cart. I'm now going to go check out, and so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and check out as a guest. Uh, basically, what I would do is I'd fill in all the information here, and then the country, I would just scroll down to the very bottom, choose Zimbabwe, and then I would choose this uh, the first region or state or whatever it is. Um, and then, you know, of course, I could fill out all the rest however I wanted. Um, and then I, if I was, was you in testing, I would put in actual email addresses, but uh, you can put in whatever you want for everything else. And then uh, just continue through, and you'll see that it'll give you free shipping, and, and, it, and it's only given it to you because you've chosen uh, that particular geo zone. And so then it'll also give you free checkout and everything should be free. So it shouldn't ask for any credit card information and it should just move you right to the success page. And so you'll get to see the full process without actually putting in a credit card and then going and avoiding that afterwards or anything like that. So that's how you do a free checkout test.